Welcome to Miss Lippert's third block panel debate between the Loyalists and the Patriots. Today, today we will be deciding on whether to, stay, to separate from Great Britain or to stay. He was a very forceful man who was comfortable speaking in front of large crowds. He was never afraid to speak his mind. He was a priest in the Church of England, and he thinks we should stay loyal to the king. Welcome the one and only Jonathan Voucher. As you know, I am Jonathan Boucher. This is my opinion on being a loyalist. I think we should stay loyal to the king. His power comes from God. Going to war would hurt many people rather than living with a few unfair laws. I know many people dislike me now, but I do not want to go to war. I am now keeping loaded pistols um, when doing sermons, so if any patriots are interested in hurting me. Jonathan Boucher, why do you think that the king's laws are God's? I think that when the king is given the ability to do what his job is, he, he receives power from God. Thank you. Although you thought Christians must obey British laws, did you support them? I supported them, well, if Christians are turned to the Patriot side. I did not support them. I would preach against them to bring them back to the Loyalist side. Um, what inspired you to be a Loyalist religious leader? What inspired me to be a Loyalist religious leader is as a kid, I grew up in the church and I wanted to be a priest as I grew older. And as I grew older, I realized that in my church, rules were different so that you had to follow loyalist rules. So that's why I'm a loyalist religious. He is a writer, he is a printer, he is an inventor, he is a scientist. What's his name? Ben Franklin! What's his name? Ben Franklin! So it's welcome, Ben Franklin! Before I was a patriot, I was a loyalist. I learned that I was, before before that I was before that I had learned I was being controlled by Great Britain. I once tried to persuade Great Britain to make to stop making laws that were very unfair. As you all, as you all can see, that failed. I favor independence for several reasons, but if you look at it, look at it like I do, then you will see that I am helping you. Does anybody have any questions? Why are you a patriot? Well, as you as you know, I was I was a loyalist before I was a patriot, but I am now a patriot because Great Britain is being is being ethnocentric and making unfair laws. What talents helped you be successful in life? Um. Well. One of my, one of the talents that helped me was uh, my my scientific knowledge. Why would you disagree with raising taxes? Because it just makes us pay for stuff so small, like printed paper. I mean, that's practically throwing our money out the window. Our money doesn't uh, grow on trees, you know. <laughs> Very serious. A man who is a royal governor. He rarely smiles. He serves the King George III. He enjoys books, and here he is, Thomas Hutchinson. Woo! Hello, I am Thomas Hutchinson. As you can see, I rarely smile. I'm a royal loyalist governor. Isn't it surprising that I'm one of the most hated men? I am very, very rich, but one time a angry mob of patriots broke into my house and stole all of my things. For broke my furniture, and took all my wonderful books. As you can see, I am also the best thing. I, wait, as you can see, I am also very thin. I think King George III is the best thing that ever happened to the colonists. Who patriots? Go Loyalists! Woo! Do you care that so many people hate you? 
What do you think? I don't care at all. Why are you all business? Well, I am all business because I am a royal governor. How, how come you always side with the British? Well, I look up to the wise, amazing King George III. Let's all be loyal to him, people. He is a very persuasive writer. He wrote many political newspapers. He started the Sons of Liberty. He led the Boston Tea Party and helped set up communities of correspondence. Here he is, the one, the only, Samuel Adams! I'm Samuel Adams, and I'm a patriot. Patriots rule! I think that the colonies should be free from Britain because we don't get to elect our government, governors nor veto any laws that the British pass. I have written many articles of why we need independence. My first reason of why we need independence is because all those patriots fight British laws, and the king keeps passing more taxes and laws. Secondly, because we have no say in our gov we have we don't get to elect our governor or other government officials. We have no say in our government. My final reason is because the king feels if he does a service to us, we must repay him, such as the Courting Act and the Port Act. Questions? Were you mostly loved or hated? Right. I was mostly loved by the Patriots because I organized the Boston Tea Party, the Sons of Liberty, and I also helped set the committees of correspondence. But I was hated by the British because I spoke out against their laws and wrote many articles, and they call me troublemaker. Why do you think you should be a leader when you made horrible life decisions? I believe I should be a leader because I've set up so many committees and groups that that don't like the British, and also I led the Boston Tea Party and many other acts. Why did you think the British were harsh and unfair rulers? I believe the British were harsh and unfair rulers because we didn't get to elect our government officials or we didn't get to veto any laws that the king passed. <laughs> stands up for Britain so violently, also wealthy with a not-so-great temper. He is independence killing, royal governor of Virginia. He is the one and only, Lord Dunmore! Good evening. My name is John Ryan. I am a fierce loyalist leader. My English name is Lord Dunmore. I came from a royal Scottish family. I was elected by King George III to be royal governor. I wear fancy clothes to show off my wealth and importance. I am very loyal to Britain. I always try to point out that Great Britain stirred the colonies and protected them. Also, that they would be traitors. I started to worry for my family's safety, so I sent ships to attack patriots across the Elizabeth River. And any slave along the way would be free if they caught fight for the loyalist side. Even though the king made you governor, do you still support British laws? Why or why not? Yes, I do still support British laws because for the king's protection and everything else he does for us, a few laws to obey is not a big deal. Why did you use harsh actions on the patriots? I used harsh actions on the Patriots because I was doing it because I had so much frustration. It was too much to hold, and it was overwhelming. Why do you think that anger and hatred is a better way to spread loyalty and obedience to, for Great Britain? I used harsh actions on the I used harsh action, actions to make them obedient and loyal because that was it was the last thing I could do. They would not listen, and they were traitors. <clears throat> Who's the girl who loves politics? Tell me this your house and wrote poetry. Let's give a big hand to the Patriot with a pen. Mercy Otis Warren. As a girl, I love politics, reading, and writing. When I grew up, I devoted my life to write poetry. The laws and taxes are unfair. Some families can't even feed their families. That is why I think we should break away from Britain. Like I say, a pen is my dear to the soul.
Why did you choose to rebel? I chose to rebel because the because the unfair taxes are too high. Some people can't even feed their families. How do you help the Patriots when you're a girl and can't fight? I express through power of writing and poetry. What type of poems do you write? I write poems about freedom and what we should do to break free.